Welcome fellow space engineers on this tutorial for making an LCD texture. To start with, we're going to set up the folder structure. We're going to do this in C users, the username, app data, roaming, space engineers, and there we go to the mods folder. As you can see here, there's several folders and a lot of mods out there. We want to add a new folder, and we give that the name of our LCD mod. In this case, I'm going to name it Taking LCD Image. In this folder, we want to create two new folders namely, a data folder and a texture folder. These folders are used by the game to store the files and they match the uh, original game's folder setup. So we create a data folder and we create a textures folder. Then, after we created these ones, in the texture folder we're going to create a new folder called video, which makes four folders. With this, we now set up our folder structure, so we can continue with the next step, which is working on the image file. So we start by finding a picture, which I already prepared earlier. The picture needs to do uh, fit several sizes. Uh, it needs to be 512 by 512 pixels. No, I don't need to save it. I need to resize it. So we first resize the picture to 512 by 512 pixels, because that is the size that the game can understand. So you see, it's not small. Now we need to save it at a DXT file. And what you'll see me doing here is I copy the path from our folder. So I can instantly save it in the right folder. Paste and we're in this folder. Now we want to save it as a DDS file, a direct draw surface. Give it a name and just remember what the name is. In my case, I call it Daking.dds. Now I get the settings screen. You want to make sure that it is a DXT file, file system, which is one of the interpretations of a DDS file. It basically states um, what the black color should do. Also, we want to have MIP maps turned on. I believe this is going to be used to position the picture on the LCD screen. Now, with that, we have finished our picture. And we placed the picture in the video folder that we created in step 1. Now to step 3, we're going to create some code. So first, we're going to go back a few levels to our mod folder and go into the data folder. In there, we're going to create a file, a new text file. It can be just a new uh, text document. And we select the entire name, we give it a name, say, dekim.dds or my mod. Um, no, not .dds, .sbc. Very important, the SBC file extension. It's got a spelling mistake in the um, official tutorial at one point. If it doesn't work, check your file extension for this file. So we're going to edit this, and we're going to choose Notepad because it's just a text file we created with it. Now what we want to do is we want to add the code for our texture here. And we can get the code from the official tutorial. So we're going to go to Steam to the official tutorial. You can look for LCD, as you can see here, LCD highlighted is one of the uh, files. Or the link is up there, and I'll put it in the description down below. Now we have here the set of um, code snippets, and we copy the code snippet. We paste the code snippet in our text file, and we can edit this to match the information that we need. We need to change the subtype ID, which is the name that our picture is going to have in game. So let's select like here sub ID framer one. We change that to decking. More probably, I want to change it to quint decking. Next thing we need to change, you need to change the file that it points at, which is two lines lower in the texture path. The 
the texture part is currently set to use frame 01.dds but we do not have a frame 01.dds file we have a dgame.dds file or whatever you call your picture this is the name of your dds file of your picture so change this and now it points to the correct picture next step is we can see that the code is actually double this section here is actually a second picture but we don't need that because I only have a single picture so I can delete this if however you have a second DDS picture you can repeat the steps to create a second picture and just add the information in here as well but as we don't we're just saving it now after we delete it now the code is done now we're going to check in the uh, file system in the folder if it's complete so we should have the picture we have four folders and we have the uh, SDC file now we can launch space engineers to make sure it works now check because our SPC file we got two folders in main texture video folder in the texture folder I've got our picture folder so it should be set up and we're gonna launch space engineers which takes a while don't worry, I skipped through the uh, load uh, system. At least to the loading of the app. Also, I want to apologize, I didn't show in game footage. Uh, I didn't show in game footage now. Because um, my game, or basically my stream thingy, my record system had the issue of uh, flickering black which makes it kind of annoying to watch so I'm just gonna set up here we're gonna set it up in creative uh, because it's easier to show it and we're gonna select the mods so in the mods now my cursor was actually invisible so it makes it a bit difficult we see a bunch of mods the same mods that we found in the file and we have taking LCD image as a folder icon you can select publish if you want to upload it to the workshop or you can just add it first to the active mods and check it out in game so loading it up and it sh 